Hello, welcome to another Ask Me Anything. Hey, listen, if you have a question, send it to me. I'd love to answer it for you and share that answer with whoever else it resonates with. So today I have a really cool Ask Me Anything from Monica. And Monica says, so every day we receive information from so many different resources, right? Like we are inundated from social media to email to every other outlet of media. And then there's our social. It's just, it's just the amount of data that we process these days is insane. And so she says, how can we best navigate what information we should really connect to and listen to and integrate into our lives? This is such a really cool question. Thanks for sending it in, Monica, because I know this is going to really touch a lot of points for a lot of people. So slow down. <laughs> That's my first tip. Slow down our energy our breathing, our mind that thinks it's the boss, the upper management here, and start connecting in. So cultivate relaxation. That's another really good tip. You know, like just being soft, just making, just letting your shoulders come down, just letting your breathing go deeper, just being sort of in the space of not being like a couch potato, but being relaxed. This is this is the secret to, uh, you know, even martial arts is this deep relaxation. And so that at the very last second, when you need that power, bang, it's there. So, so cultivate relaxation, like just be mindful of am I relaxed? Okay, I can relax a little bit more, a little bit more. I always say to people, you know, lengthen your neck, bring your shoulders down. And then just relax. Let your arms hang from your shoulders like they're heavy cables, pulling your shoulders down a little bit more. Like Because we all chronically hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders. Okay, become a mindful practitioner, a mindfulness practitioner. Like, you know, Google it. Like, how to become mindful. It's all about relaxation. It's all about slowing down. It's all, all about through that you become more connected to yourself in the moment and more present with what's going on around you in the moment. So mindfulness is such a beautiful state to be in because this is where we move into being in our flow state, where we are connecting to who we are authentically and what our gifts are. So there you go. Cultivate mindfulness. Um, learn to d discern, decipher, and validate information so you know you're on your social media feed drop something down in front of you and you don't know whether to look at it or keep scrolling right and so you know we're we're so indented with information that most of us just keep scrolling 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 until something either ridiculously funny or really quirky or or or, or who knows what makes people stop the scroll and it's it's kind of a sign of how we've all become so desensitized to our own sense of um, perception to what is coming toward us potentially to move out of the way of or potentially to receive so that's why we have to do the above steps. And so learning to decipher, learning to decipher, what is this? And this, this requires that you are in a discerning mind, not a judgmental mind, but a discerning mind. This is all about being connected to yourself. Do I need this right now? Is this for my, is this for my highest and best right now? Should I really investigate this? You know, that's a discerning um, mindset versus Next, 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 nah, nah, next, next. So, so that's very powerful. And then when you have gone through the discerning, the deciphering, then you want to validate it. You want to just really check in with yourself. Am I in alignment with this? And like, just ask your own inner awareness or your higher self, um, or, or just, you know, ask yourself, however you want to, however you want to language that it doesn't matter, but it's like, is this a yes or a no? It's that simple. And it's like, it's a yes. All right, let's investigate this further, put a little bit more energy into it. Are we still getting a yes? 
Yep, we are. Let's go a little bit deeper down this rabbit hole. Are we still getting a yes? No, we're not. Okay, we've just we've just hit a barrier where, okay, that rabbit hole suddenly doesn't feel like it's in alignment with your values. And so you just back out. Thank you very much. I need you to remember what my values are, and on you go. Or you make this alignment, and it's like, wow, this is really, this is really speaking to me. Let's go further down that rabbit hole, and then bang, you're like, wow, this is in alignment with what I've been really craving. And so that's what we need to pay attention to. Um, what else have I got here? Pay attention to your insights, thoughts, symbols, sensations, reactions, responses to information and experiences. This is what I'm always teaching my students in Open Inward to Eternal Wisdom as they're learning to actually interpret the psychic information that they are receiving, their intuition, their instincts, right? So if that interests you, um, yeah, you should, you should DM me and we should talk about that program. So... Um, so the next point I have is all that data that is constantly coming at us is, um, isn't always loaded with deeper connecting information to who you really are. This is what we need to learn to navigate because our goal is to deepen our connection to ourself, deepen our understanding of who we are, why we're here. How, what is our mission? What are our gifts? How are we going to evolve through this lesson and that lesson and this experience? That's really why we're here. And so if that doesn't speak to that, then keep going, right? So the universe never wastes any resources or energy, including thought, the realm of thought. You know, it's like, I always say that the universe is the ultimate, you know, conserver of of resources and energy. And and so consider that we are we are part of that. It is innate for us to feel connected to everything because we are part of this universe. And so at our deepest core level, we're actually really good conservers of our own energy if we're in that mindful connected space so that we can discern and decipher and then, you know, take that last step and validate. All right. So all data that's coming at us from all different time and space, uh, literally, um, with information that's going to help us connect deeper will light up if you're in that connected space or if you're working toward that connected space you're going to start to notice that happening so all right what else have i got here we're continually loaded with information like we're continually being loaded up with information and it is our experiences and life lessons that give us the tools to navigate that information and to know and to discern and validate and decipher, you know, not necessarily in that order, what we should pay attention to and what we should yield from, like just move out of the way. You know, it's like, you know, it's like yielding into traffic. It's like, you know, yielding to something that's coming at you that you don't want to hit you. So you just move out of the way, right? It's like, if someone's going to, you know, send a strike at you, just move out of the way. And then they've wasted all that energy and all you've done is moved out of the way. <laughs> so you don't have to waste energy. Be wise with how you use your energy, where you use it, where you spend it, and where you recharge it and how we need to recharge in a regular way. All right, going off in different tangents here as usual. So what else have I got for you? All right, at a body-mind level, we crave new information to heal and shift and transform. So... Um, uh, for about 25 years, I did osteopathic body work, somato-emotional release work. Um, I did I did a whole bunch of stuff that was all about helping us to heal this physical body, but also the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual body. And I'm still working in that way, but now I don't do like the actual, you know, hands-on therapy. But all that background is still working with me and gives me that 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 set of tools and experiences to continue to to do my work. So the reason I mention that is because one of the things that I found fascinating is that so when I'm working on when I was working on a body and I would roll into and, and detect um, proprioceptively a restriction in the tissues. It's like I would just give it five more grams. This is part of the, the, the body of work, the, 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 the basic technique and the body mind of the individual would sense that that little tap on the door. 
and it represents new information, new potentiality. And so then the body mind starts to, you know, bring energy and life and light and everything starts to shift and move. And so we crave new information. We crave little taps on the doors to help us pay attention and go, what is this? Oh, this is for my highest and best. This is for my liberation from this old place I've been stuck in. So this is the nature of all of the work that I do. And, and so if it interests you, you know, like, like I said earlier, you know, send me a message. Let's have a chat. Um, okay. So use your inner tools that you've developed through your lifetime. Intuition, instincts, and stay open to that new information and say yes to new experiences that feel like you are in alignment to them and new teachings and learnings and mentoring. If it feels like you're in alignment and that's taking you on the direction that you are seeking to open up and expand in, which means you have to, you have to contract in somewhere else that isn't feeding you and nurturing you anymore. Those are tough decisions, but they're wise and they're about, they come from a connected place within you that is discerning, deciphering, and then validating. All right. Um, last thing, practice your communication skills with yourself and with others. Everything comes down to self-connection. Okay. So that's my piece today. And if you're interested in my program or intuitive coaching, uh, you know what, just DM me and let's just have a chat and see what, what, what can potentially happen for you to get you unstuck moving forward, connecting more to your mission, your gifts, why you're here. All right, let's do it. I'm waiting for you. All right. Cheerio. Have a good day.